hello hello guys welcome i am here i am here we are here <laughs> we to, are the world to announce a new segment series yeah to this channel um it's called k-pop corner. corner and basically the whole premise of the show and the series is going to be that we're going to be discussing everything k-pop related we're too much mega 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 fans of k-pop we love we love reading the news we love keeping up with, keeping up with k-pop <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> stop it um so we're going to be talking about the recurrent news we're going to talk about the drama that's happening in the k-pop industry we're going to talk about scandals we're going to talk about new releases we're going to talk about past groups we're going to talk about future groups we're going to talk about everything and anything related to k-pop so we're starting off, it's going to be a podcast series as well, so if you don't want to watch the video, you can watch the pod, you can listen to the podcast series and all the information will be attached in the description, description box below, so description, 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 um, and we're going to start off today with some of the things that are happening in the K-pop industry, that, 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 that happened last month, which was 2019 <coughs> December, and the new more recent information that we've got. Let's start with what happened to Red Velvet Menzi. Oh! Oh my gosh! Um, oh, God. we had to start there. Okay, 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 okay. We had to start with the big one, man. Ooh. We had to start with okay. the big one. As some of you may know, not all of you, some of you, if you don't know, live under a rock. What's that? Google it. Yeah. Our dear Wendy, she's actually my bias in Red Velvet. So I don't, I don't. Oh who's my, my bias in Red Velvet? I feel like Irene is my bias, but then also Suki is my bias Suki is because she's my a bad. Bias. Wrecker. My bite, she's just dancing oh, she, her ass off all the time. And Irene really knows she's visuals. Joy is just beautiful. Yeah, I believe Irene mean, I mean, is nearly she's our age, fun. like 30. That, that is not our age. My age was not our age. <laughs> I was like, Sorry. I brought you down to my level. My bad. Oh, uh, my age. I was like, our age? Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what happened to Wendy was basically, was it SP? Yes, yes SBS. SBS. She was performing. She was going to perform. She was doing rehearsals for a song. She was and going to go up. On she the was yeah up on a platform which was about two meters high. high. She there wasn't adequate support at the platform. There wasn't adequate spacing. There was adequate mm -hmm. signals or signs where she should stand and stuff. And mm -hmm. she fell from six meters. I believe. Yeah, there's basically what um what I read allegedly what happened mm -hmm. is. That she was told to go up by the makeup artist mm -hmm. or by someone on the SBS crew, and they thought that the stairs were there, but they thought the stairs just weren't lit up. They oh. thought it was there, but they thought they weren't lit up. So when she so when she took a step now, she, she fell. just fell, and she fell. She fractured her right cheek. She oh. fractured her right pelvis. She fractured her rib. Um, she has bruising and injuries a lot. She's going to take a lot of months of therapy and months mm -hmm. of recovery. Um, Joy said in a radio interview that she's not able to eat solid foods right now because she's in so much pain and I think it's so so and the worst thing was that the apology the SBS, SBS gave afterwards was so 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 bad First of all, I'm annoyed that they didn't apologize straight away and didn't accept their responsibility and then B, the apology was one of the worst no responsibility, no accountability, no signs of this. any right doing yeah and then the, they apologize the second time but i feel like the only time the, the only reason they apologize the second time is because of the the blowback. backlash that they were getting yeah because yeah, like so many fans rightfully so yeah we're right just so. like <laughs> apology don't it is that like what's going on we're gonna try to do better no it's like you injured one of the ma one of the massive artists she's one of the main groups of uh, one of the main groups of uh, one of the main ladies of the group yeah Majority of the song, she is the main vocalist. Yeah, she is the main vocalist. And for her to injure her right cheek and her pelvis, mm -hmm. pelvic injuries are the worst. They mm -hmm. hurt so much. And she's a dancer she as well. Her as well she, she fractured her yeah. ribs. She fractured. She has a fracture on her pelvic and she right pelvic side, and she has a fracture on her right cheek. Do you know how bad those pelvic injuries are, especially for a dancer? She's gonna need so oh, much therapy because. Yeah. Red Velvet dancers, dancers are one of the best world world ride norms and they're so well choreographed and so intense that for her to have a pelvic injury it could, for a lot of people, it could be career changing oh, and I goodness. really hope that SM gives her the time that she needs she and needs the therapy She needs to heal SM, okay? Yeah, don't push her She needs to heal Yeah, she heal. needs to heal fully Okay she, You can't, because you can't have it at 80% mm -hmm. and then have her perform because that injury could easily go to 50 exactly. or 40% back um, so SBS do better and then the fu funny thing was that people who were like Mama Moo did an interview pre-interview oh, and Solar so fell and she injured her knee 
So then she wasn't able to perform hip properly. She yeah, wasn't she able to kick. kick it in the song. And and then a lot of the other boy bands and girl bands that were performing on the stage were saying how the stage was slippery. It was slippery, slippery. yeah. So they nearly fell or injured themselves. You see Twice, like, um, oh. And then you see as well. Someone on Twice, like, they like, did a, took a little tumble, but not as big. And then they just made fun of it by pretending to ice skate. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, Twice, twice I see this is you. what we want. But then like, look at, look at. But you shouldn't have to do exactly. like that. Exactly. The fact because they could easily twist the or spr- twist the ankle, or sprain the ankle, exactly. and become a worse. Also, situation. they're there to technically promote SBS. Exactly. Like they don't need to be there. Yeah, SBS they got a lot of money from up. them, so exactly. I think for them to not have adequate support and manage the staging properly is mm-hmm. ridiculous. And SBS is one of the biggest companies yeah. in Korea, entertainment company, so it's ridiculous. But one thing I do like is that the support that Wendy's getting from her fellow Fan. band band members, band members, group members, group members like yes. they're technically a family, and yeah. you can see the love and support. Like they were showing videos of Irene, that like her reaction when Wendy's VCR was playing. Yeah. Um, they were showing, and then also fellow idols came up for yeah, support. They were like supporting. Solar left yes. a message for Wendy to get better. Mm-hmm. Sunmi left a message for Wendy to get better, mm-hmm. and said, "So I hope Sugi's okay as well," because obviously the fan, the member of the group are going to be impacted as well yeah. you know they're going to have to change the choreography they're going to be worried about Wendy they're going to be worried they're going to have anxiety about performing on the yeah. stage next time because god forbid it happens to them I don't know if it was SBS as well but then they, um, A-Pink was having trouble as well yes because their performance got, got into cut, a cut, cut. Like, and they were not happy I think that was MBS were, was it M- NBC. NBC, that's right. Like they were on stage and it just I and it like, cut. Oh. Like they were about to do the breakdown of the second part of this performance and the song cut. And they were like, huh? What's going I on? And like, then what? the crew came and walked them out. Like how disrespectful is that? But they apologized. The first apology was crap. Again, people apologize properly the first time. What's wrong with you? You are wrong. Okay. Accept it. You are wrong. Take accountability. Just bite the bullet and apologize. That's what you gotta do. And then moving on to the next scandal, which is happening with the produce series. Ooh, the produce 101, do, do produce wanna, Do we wanna go in there? We no, do. we really wanna go in there because it was like one of the biggest scandals. So the scandal was if you guys don't know about the produce series, they they're the ones that um, created the they groups. They created like IOI, 101, 101. What's the um, new ones? I, uh, iZone or oh, Is yes. One, however you want to pronounce it. And then, or IZ One or Onez One or I don't know. And then, and we found out that it, the voting was rigged. The group was already set before the show got even started. The people that were behind the show, some of the companies paid to get their members in the final lineup. Um, and the person that was in charge of the voting and rigging, he took bribes and mm. money and solicitation and he put people in a group that he thought would fit better and vote into the matter and that's ridiculous to me. From the scandal, I I was shocked, I'm not going to lie to you, but then at the same time, I wasn't surprised. Does that make sense? As in, I like, wasn't surprised because realistically, it's impossible for every 100 and something members to be shown on TV and mm. us the community, the public, the audience get to know each member yeah. equally. Mm-hmm. I think fairly and equally it's unrealistic to have 100 people in a group, in a show, and for us to know every single yeah. one and remember them and remember their talents. But I was upset because like, what if like there was like really down to earth like personalities in like, like members and we didn't get to see that because of they were extremely talented. What was happening? Yeah, because like of, because of what was happening, and then also I feel bad for the members that were selected. Exactly because they didn't know anything about exactly. it. Exactly. The companies, the companies paid. Pardon me. The companies paid um, the guy to do the voter rig, rigging, and then um, now they're in a group. They're going to be scrutinized. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to say. First of all. It is not the individual's fault. Oh, okay? Agree. Yeah. It is not their fault. They didn't pay. They didn't do any of this. They because weren't aware of what was happening. Because why would why would you, as the company director, exactly. tell the trainee, exactly. oh, I'm going to rig it and make it sure that you're it's in like, charge? Oh, you can't sing, but you've got the look, so we're going to pay for you to yeah. go through. Yeah, no. I don't think any, no. any of the idols actually I don't think knew. They knew. No. I don't think that they personally knew what was happening. 
and I feel really bad for people who lost the opportunity because they said that they swapped. Oh my goodness. So they did swap. They did swap patient where people that were supposed to be in the group didn't turn out to be in the didn't end up being in the group, and I feel so bad for them because not only have they worked so hard to be in this group and seen the success that they could have had had they been actually mm -hmm. been in the group. But now they're gonna be scrutinized. They're gonna be in media a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that they're not releasing the individual names of yes, people because I, I think that would have just started a war for no oh reason. It would have started a. Oh it wouldn't have solved anything. And Fans who, who was in charge really. of produce? SBS was it or NBC? Sure. I don't remember. Whoever, whatever companies was in charge of the produce series, they came out and the CEO came out and he said that they're going to give money to the people who lost. Oh. Who are the victims of this rigging? So they're gonna give the money to the victims of the rigging. But like, what if you were one of the people who got swapped out, right? I for fine, that And I was like, pissed. I would be pissed. I would be you decided, be, like this was your last chance. Oh, I didn't even decided, think of it like that. Oh that's, my god. That's what, like, when I found out, I was like, think of all these people that thought this is their last chance. They, Imagine the like, company they kicked them it. out. Exactly. They did. What if one of them? Like, what if the company kicked you out because you didn't oh, make it? Oh my goodness. And then you find out, oh my god, you were in the lineup, but you got swapped. And then you got swapped because someone had more money. Stop! Oh yeah, you worked for a better company that exactly. had more influence. I feel like that is such a horrible like, human thing to that, do. Like, I thought about that and I was just like, all those people, like, because some trainees, like, when they think, like, that's their last. Yeah. They just stop everything. Yeah. They drop everything and then they just go back to school or like, they get regular jobs. Yeah. And I'm just like, you guys have so much talent and potential. I felt so bad that you didn't get the chance that you mm. knew you could have got and like so many people knew you could have got it as well but because of like stupid things like this it just got washed away yeah it was dumb i think it's sad i think it's evil i think they're not going to create any more produce series anymore because it's just going to be no point in it and i think is, was they the do need to give the victims money in compensation was it the same for the chinese series as well no, because I think that was produced by China. Oh, was it just Korea? Yeah. Okay. So the Korea and then the Japanese. I feel bad for the Japanese companies, Japanese um, art, artists who came down mm -hmm. and learned the language, learned the singing and the dancing and all of that, only to find out that this was what Korean companies were doing. Because none of the Japanese It's not were. all Korean companies. No, some of them. Not saying, all of them. Not all saying. of them did. Some of them. And mm -hmm. the names are, if you Google them, you'll find out which names they've confessed, they've told, they've confessed. Actually... Yes, they've confessed. I think, um, I don't remember which ones they are exactly, but they confessed to doing the rigging. Um, and they are in penalty. They have been charged with like Damn. bribery and stuff. And I think it's sad. It's such a disappointing news. I was really fan of iZone. I was really mm -hmm. a fan of IOI. Mm -hmm. IOI was supposed to come back, but it didn't. They were supposed to have their comeback, but it didn't. They were supposed to have their mega comeback, but everyone oh, was so excited yes. about. And one of one is another didn't one that iZone get like. I don't know if it was banned from TV, but they weren't like promoting. For, like, yeah, they a got while. because of this. Yeah, and then they came back like the end of December. But they were they were supposed to have a comeback in the end of December, uh, but that got delayed and completely rejected because oh of the scandal. Because they found out because um, it oh. started with Produce Forty Eight, like oh. the whole investigation, and then they've discovered that oh no, it was even back to two other okay. series. It wasn't Way just back. It, was, it wasn't just um, Produce Forty Eight. It was more of Produce One One and all of that. Oh my goodness, that's bad. I feel so bad for them. I feel so sad for them. On the next topic, we're going to be talking about the big news of the week, the crazy news of the week, and we have a guest for that as well. So please welcome... Put your hands together! For our fellow reactor, Ria! Now we're just gonna say, Woo. I am the meat between two buns. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Um, so, the big, so the big news of the week was that Big Bang is coming back, yes. and that they're performing at Coachella, Coachella. of all places. And if you guys I don't know, to go to America or no? if you I don't know what Coachella is, Coachella is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest festivals in the mm -hmm. world that happen in America during spring break, mm -hmm. and it's like three days, four days on. Mm -hmm. Many, many artists play, uh, perform there. A crazy ton of artists perform there. Blackpink performed there last yeah. year. My girls. Uh, they slayed the My stage. Girls. They kicked ass. They were ruling it. Um, and then this year, Big Bang is performing. <gasps> And Big Bang is performing, and the Wait, shock, the one, even more of a big shock for me mm -hmm. was that Top is gonna be in it. 
Why is that a shark? Because he said that he's not eating. Yeah. yeah. He said like even Wait, when he even when he was just uh, discharged from military, yeah. someone wrote on his Instagram saying, "Oh, better not be in the like you need to leave the industry." And he said, "I've already left." And I, I'm sure I don't know why. As well. like, he, yeah. He made a statement. Saying, and I don't know why in my head I thought that Top had actually terminated his contract with YG. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it actually happened in my dream. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Wait, they because they released a statement about the contract. Renewal. Yes, they they said that, so they, they, they renew, they, the talk is still happening yeah. and they said that they it looks good. My thing is, you no, know like, before we go into the contract <laughs> renewal, because there's a lot to yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Top performing with Big Bang is a major thing because mm -hmm. it was a controversy with Top in terms of his drug usage and all of that drama that was happening with there. And all military enlistment was crazy. Yeah. And then Big Bangs had even major controversy because of their one member, the trash of a man, Sungri. I don't know, come at me now. You come at me or you are. I would disassociate my, my fandom for Big Bang with the individual that. But regardless of what we think of Sungri in terms of an artist, what he did was horrendous, evil, inhumane, awful, and he accepted the responsibility of. Mm, has he? I feel like. Whether he has or not, in my eyes, and in whatever, he's guilty. And he terminated his contract with IG for yeah. sure. He's yeah. left the entertainment industry for sure. So Big Bang is now a four-member group, and they're going to be performing in Coachella. Coachella. How do we think about that, ladies? Big Bang in Coachella? Like, I was not yeah. expecting what do we it. About that? I was not expecting it. I was that. not expecting that. Like, so I've been like the biggest g Dragon fan like, to the point where I was like seeing him performance I was like no I have to hold myself like this too much <laughs> and I've seen like Big Bang when they first came to the UK to do the performance I was so lucky I was right at the front it was amazing like their star power like them performing is out of this world honestly yeah. it's one of the best concerts I've ever been to and I've seen GD um, perform live yeah. as well his own individual concert so I've seen them perform so like you have to, you have to live it. You like, you have to do it. It's an experience. Yeah, no, I can imagine that because yeah. I like some of the Big Bang songs. I'm not that much into the boy groups of K-pop, mm. so and okay. um, so whenever I like a boy group, I only tend to like one or two songs yeah. from a boy group or three or whatever, like bangers, but not necessarily like a whole album, and I don't follow them. But Big Bang, I knew that they were one of the great performers because they had such good stage a presence. stage yeah. presence and be good chemistry in yeah. terms of their voices blending it was all unique and stuff but controversy after controversy i was not expecting this yeah, i was I not expecting, expecting i wasn't expecting them to come back this year at all i really wasn't and then for and then the whole thing with ig is happening the entertainment like mm -hmm. the company itself yeah then you know the director of ig he has left he's not in part yeah. he's, he's still the share owner but he's not a director mm -hmm. creative director anymore um I'm, so i and he yeah. was the first yeah. person to post it wasn't he yeah. yeah yeah he was the first one to post, post the whole thing yeah. and i was like yeah. wow <laughs> sir you're getting involved I was like, in okay, this. Okay. um and then i don't i don't know i think is you know, it too soon? I think like the the thing with me is I just feel like like because I was it's not expected. Yeah. I'm like at a loss as to how I feel. Like I really love Big Bang at uh, Big Bang, sorry, and I do want to see them perform. Mm -hmm. But like considering the sentiment in Korea and all the issues around YG issues, entertainment. Yeah. But I'm glad like they get to continue though. But what if it's a uh, I don't want to say it. See, I don't I, that's what I mean. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. What if it's like a final no. performance? That's I don't what me, no. I don't want me to say you are connected. No, me and no, you are connected. No, I said no, that to her. Because, I said to Brie no, our last because night. Because if I it is, I honest, honestly no, don't if, know what I'm going to do. If that's happening, I need to be there. I do not care. <laughs> like but last night. Me to America, <laughs> last night, I was on the phone to Ria and I said to her. No, I want to. <laughs> Last night to Ria, I was on the phone to her and I was saying to her how I think that this performance is their good vibe. What is oh, okay. Oh, no, okay. I can't. Okay. Like, uh, I don't want to think it. of it as a good vibe. Okay. Too much is going they on. They need to do one more like, world concert on tomorrow. No, I don't like, think they're going to do a world concert. What, do you want me to cry today? What no, I don't think they're going to do a world concert ever. They need to do one they more. Do a one more. They will do a get together concert in 10 years, but they're not going to do a world concert. I don't think they're going to do a world concert. 
Because I think oh that God. even though the contract negotiations are happening with YG and YG said that it looks good, I think that G Dragon's not going to renew. He's going to start his own late record label. He's but the name G Dragon and the name Top. Yeah. I think they'll try to fight it. I mean, G Dragon go under G. Is it Taeyang? Yeah, yeah Taeyang. Yeah. Like they are under. Copyrighted YG. by YG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're going to try to fight that. Even they're going to fight fight out, they're going to come up with some agreement with YG. So yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, He's strong like, enough yeah. to like. Yeah. I think. Like, yeah, to go on with it. Yeah. yeah, I think. Um, he will. He can easily go to GD. Uh, GD mm-hmm. too. Um, and then I think, <laughs> I think for them, I think contract renewal with YG because I feel like YG is becoming a hindrance because Lehigh just left. Lehigh yeah. is gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm left. so glad. I was so happy though because yeah. she was. Yeah, or left and I'm like, so happy. They leave in the dungeon one exactly. by one. It's like the doors being open. They did see us. So bad. I know, I know. I can never forget YG for that. I'm still waiting for that 21. I can't. Look. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's happen. It's going to 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 happen. It's going um, music, music video right. as well. Yeah. Oh my god, um, so, good. so and then Minzy's going through her own issues yeah. with her yeah. record label who lied to her and uh, like putting her in the dungeon. Minzy, like, get out of the dungeon. Nice. We Minzy deserve you. Minzy tried to, yeah. okay. but it didn't work out. Oh. So she's she gonna will. try. She's she gonna. Will get out. I believe she will. 21 will come back. Will Imagine if 20, 21 comes back in 2021. Oh legendary, legendary. It's a prediction, okay. Okay, it's a prediction. It's a prediction. You heard it here first. 2021 comes back. You heard it here first. Okay. I'm in a prediction. Traction, sending other positive vibes. Come I on, think, come on, come on. In terms of Big Bang, Coachella performance, amazing opportunity. The world is not ready. I don't think the world, yeah. is, the world is, is ready. The world is not ready. I think it's an amazing opportunity. Oh God, like, but I think it will probably be the last list. one. I think it will probably be the last one. I don't want to. Don't look at me like that. Um, I think it's the last one. Can you not? Know, right, and then like, the contract uh, renewals are not going to happen in terms of. I think Jay Song might still sign with YG. I or think Jay Song will have a solid career in Japan. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He's, yeah. he's so very good. And yeah. t- I think Taeyong's going to leave to YG because he's married. He's to start a family soon. No, but he still needs to go at least as a solo. He he's going to go solo. solo. No, I think he's like, going to go solo. some of the oh, most beautiful, beautiful music. Emma. And he has a beautiful voice, and I think he is yeah. going to go solo and produce songs. But I think he's also going to be more in variety shows. But the one thing I like, like about them separately no, no, is no, no, even if they go no. solo, they're gonna slay. They are. Yeah. They are. I don't think Top is yeah. gonna go solo though. I think Top is just like, gonna I, I, it, yeah. like either way they go, yeah. they're gonna do yeah, good yeah. and what. <coughs> I think so, like Top will be doing like art and yeah, creative things. Yeah. But he he will be yeah. under. He will do it under and a pseudonym. Also, yeah. I don't yeah. think he's not gonna. I don't think he's gonna do it under Top. I think he's gonna do it under a pseudonym so people don't know it's him. Like produce songs or you know write raps or whatever you need to do. Cause I think Big Bang, as much as they're talented and creative, there is a thing attached like, to them. No, no, but Top and GD had their own unit. They could yeah. do one. Too. No, I don't, it's not about. <laughs> he's like he's not leaving. It's not, he's not going. He's not going. It's not about, like, I don't think it's. I don't. It's not about Never. doing like. <laughs> no. I don't think it's about doing stuff. It's about whether you should do or not. Mm-hmm. And I think. There's still a stain attached to Big Bang because of the whole because Sangri well, hasn't his pardon me, his investigation hasn't been yeah. ended. So every time news outlets come or any articles come, they always say former Big Bang member. So no matter what, that stigma, that stain yeah. is gonna be attached to them and people need to break from that and need to heal from that and be like, listen, we need to not hear from Big Bang but right now. But aside, I don't think like the member scandals individually they're not that bad in other countries. Like in yeah, other I think Top's issue was very specific to what Korea yeah. and Korean laws yeah, and Korean culture. Yeah, everything is based on yeah. what happens, happens over yeah. there. Like how yeah. bad it is. Over yeah, there. I think Top, if he was in a Western country or if he was a yeah. Western artist, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't have you know, been made in the news. Yeah. yeah. Um, Whereas the whole I Sangri actually thing. think Sangri should be locked in the dungeon. Yeah, he should never be let out. I think, Can we you just know, put him... It, I think that situation is so that's a, sad. That's a, another topic. That's yeah. a deep. That's a deeper conversation. Deeper conversation. I think that's a deeper conversation, conversation on the Stop culture. Stop saying big bang. <laughs> he tried homo. He tried. Oh my there god! Like, that was another news of the year. Are they? 
They okay, are... so he's just been on Momo in terms of having a crush on her for bloody decades. He is the cutest little thing though. He's had, so he's nice. had it for he's years so and he's one of the nicest idols I've ever like, seen because he's, he's genuine. And he says yeah. and he says how he looks after idols a lot because of the pressure that they face mm -hmm. and stuff. And then he says that he looks after the foreign idols more yeah. because they're in a foreign country, in a country that is not the same as theirs and it's hard for them to be, you know. And I can understand and I can see his genuine personality and care and empathy and he's just such a great person and then he's had that crush on Momo for years now years and he's always been very open about it and he's always and then the fact that he got he's so cute when he has a crush he like, he's so he's like, like, he's like, like he's like literally because he doesn't like most people like not like that like you know what I mean yeah, 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 yeah. his reaction but when he likes someone he's like all blushing and his dimples he's come so out cute. he's such a cute he's such a cute and I'm like I'm so glad that yeah. they are not only dating but that they, it was confirmed it was yeah. no longer like hiding 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 yeah all i hope is that the korean net citizen <coughs> it calls be kind please please be kind please, they be, kind. Are please be nice grown adults grown adults give it to them you do not okay? own any single person give it Bro. to them Ria. oh no, my god you do not own like he's not your oppa he's exactly stop it He's no. got life, he yeah. has to move on. So does she, by the way. And she does yeah. Well. yeah, all the Ajit she fans, please. Exactly. Like, Leave her one alone. Thing, one thing I've on. noticed, like, whenever a couple comes out, the backlash is mostly towards the, the girl. The female, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure she they does. made this decision together. together. And she deserves yeah. happiness. Exactly. And, she de and if she's happy and he's been... Hit, <laughs> together. <laughs> like, she deserves happiness. And as long as she's happy and he's keeping yeah. her happy and healthy, exactly. that's what matters. Yeah. It doesn't matter your own personal emotions and feelings exactly. and how, oh my God, I wish I think I was going to have a relationship mm -hmm. with Momo. No. You need to be realistic. She it wasn't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Like the whole thing with Neon and her stalker, the foreign stalker. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Why is no one focusing yeah. on this? This yeah. girl has a full on stalker. A guy that's on the plane. Same plane. Oh, and he's God. going to a foreign country like, where he doesn't oh, live, he doesn't speak the language, goodness. only to meet Neon like, to tell her he loves her. He was on the plane. Like, like, yeah, and the manager had to kick him out. It's a right? Where you can just stop. Oh my goodness. Like who knows what the hell's going to happen? You guys are more focused on these two people having a conceptual, <laughs> healthy, relationship, loving, yeah. happy and this girl has a stalker. Yeah. Oh, not me, bro. No. Not me. Never. The priorities, people, and I'm really happy for each and Momo. Yes, definitely. I really hope that the scrutiny of the media and the scrutiny of people commenting doesn't break them apart. Stop. Because yeah. you remember, um, First are your eyes? AOA's member, the pretty one, the visual. No. She yes. and she was dating yeah, yeah, yeah. Zico. She was yeah, dating yeah, yeah, Zico. Yeah, so like, do you know who AOA is? Oh, the tall one. Sillion. Yes, I can't think of the name because of the S. Yes, Sillion or Sillion. I'm sorry, I know who you are. We know. She's the visual and she's extremely pretty and she was dating rapper Zico. don't want to mess up your name. Particularly got me is when there was a picture, you know, this whole trend of like wearing the t shirt, like the no pants yeah. look, and she had that. And then, like, oh, where is she going running to his apartment wearing like no pants? I'm like, and then, and then, like, the moment the news came out, by yourself and then the, <laughs> and then the news came out and within a month they broke up yeah the yeah. same thing happened to becky and Taeyeon. yeah when they because obviously they were in the same company yeah. oh yeah but it she received so the cute. most backlash. backlash she got so much because she was a senior and she was female yeah. And then the same the happened with Tiffany and Nikon as well. Yeah, you? and then so Kai cute. and Jenny. And, been and, then, and then, yeah, Kai and Jenny have And Kai Crystal and Kai. And Kai. Crystal oh, and Kai. Kai. Yeah. oh my god, there's been so many. There are yeah. Yeah. But so I think that's what's good. I think the only person, the only company that deals with this properly is JYP. Do you know yeah. why? Because Kang Daniel and Gio. And yes, uh, this yes. couple is powerful. Do not yeah. Not only are they a powerful yeah. couple, they're dating, they're casually dating, it's not low key. No control, no massive yeah. controversy. Yeah. Like, yeah, people are unhappy, but nothing bad has happened. Mm -hmm. And I think Jiho is amazing, amazing leader, one of the mm -hmm. best leaders of a group. I think she's so much of her age, she's so talented, her voice is amazing, and Calm Daniel yeah. there taking care of her. Mm -hmm. You better not hurt her, so yeah. comfy. But he it actually he makes me think of yeah. the reaction. Yeah. You know, the Tae, I keep saying her name wrong, Tae and Baekhyun, mm -hmm. when they got together and people started crushing their <laughs> Oreos. Do you remember that? Why did they crush their Oreos? Because she posted a picture oh, of oh, the Oreos yeah. and... He, like basically when they post 
people were like that loves the grandma like whatever. linking like yeah. oh, it would be like a little picture of her yeah. doing a heart and then he's yeah. doing the heart yeah. and they're like oh. people doing it together and then together. The, she posted the people the, are crazy on Instagram and then the, everyone's like crushing the one I was like what happened like why Give I can't I can't do with people <laughs> people I can't. Food. Food. I feel like listen people this is a PSA for everyone. Idols are allowed to have a love life. Yeah. Idols are allowed to fall in love exactly. and like someone. Idols are allowed to have a life outside yeah. of exactly. their, um, whatever they, they're doing, their group, their solo stuff. They, yes, that you guys are making them famous. Yes, that they are who they are because of your fan base and because of what money you're spending. But that does not mean that you own them as an individual, as a human being. As a human being, they have the right to fall in love. They have the right to be happy. They have the right to be mentally sane. And in order to, for them to do that, it means they can take the time off when they want to and they need to. They can fall in love with whoever they want and have, have a consenting kind of relationship with them. And they can take breaks and do whatever yeah. the hell they want. Yeah. As long as it's legal and it's happy and it's healthy and it's not causing anyone harm. I think your impact and your support means a lot to them. But, but there's a line. Yeah, they, but there's a line and there's a boundary. A line, yeah. And they shouldn't have to give up their happiness and their sanity exactly. to keep you guys happy. Because yeah, exactly. I think that's more immoral. Why would you want somebody that you care for to be unhappy? And why would you want somebody to be miserable just so you can be yeah. happy? That's not love. And that's not care. That's what they were talking about. Is that a lot of people think, oh, they're rich, they're famous. What have they got to complain about? Yeah. Why are this? Why are this? I think money like, doesn't... There's this entitlement because they have all of these things mm -hmm. that they shouldn't be normal human beings. Mm -hmm. Like they Money brings you resting. security. Money brings you materialistic things but if you're dealing with things yeah. mentally if you're dealing with things emotionally exactly. in your life no matter how much money you, you have you need someone there yeah. for you yeah so yeah, i think exactly. i'm really 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 happy for my boy nature and i'm really happy mm -hmm. with the way jyp handles these things because yeah. i think jyp is one of the big companies in korea well-known companies but he always always preaches it's because about, jyp himself yeah. has that mindset yeah, he's mindset. A, yeah. because he's an idol they he are does humans like yeah. humans and he, their mental yeah. wellness and well-being the like, like, with the whole thing with mina for example beautifully yeah. handled beautifully yeah, so handled good. i'm really proud of jyp for giving her the mental break the yeah. giving her the space and mm -hmm. the holiday time and he's like she's gonna come when she's ready yeah we're not gonna push her and the twice members have been extremely supportive mm -hmm. yeah Fan base has been really supportive, mm -hmm. so keep that same energy for Momo and Hijo people. Also, I know they have an age gap, but I've been seeing like some fans talk about like how he's perverted. Oh, because, yeah, like, he's like is. almost 30 or he's, yeah. he's in his 30s, and he's in his 20s. Yeah, he's in his 30s. Yeah, he's in his 30s. Yeah, he's in his 30s. In Korea, and they're talking about like how this guy is like, okay, first of all, it's how he's a grown adult and he's coming towards Momo. First of all, yeah. They are both grown adults. Yeah, she well, knows an adult. the age yeah. gap. I'm pretty sure she was consenting to every little thing. Yeah. Like before they even yeah. met, they yeah. were probably talking. Yeah. Yeah. So stop it, guys. Come on. Let's not go into speculations and exactly. like, horrible, horrible negative narratives because it doesn't help anyone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. As long as Momo is yeah. healthy, happy, and healthy, and mm -hmm. she isn't being pressured into a relationship yeah. by but anyone. But we know he wouldn't do that because, yeah. like, judging from his like, character, all, yeah. not even just his character, but all the girl groups. That yeah. have been like he is one of the guys yeah, that they the trust the most. most. Yeah. And because he has yeah. a lot of he exactly. has a lot of friends who are in girl groups, yeah. and all of them talk praises about him. Exactly, he's yeah. a gentleman. He helps us. He takes care of us. He makes sure that we're okay. Whenever we produce, whenever we promote stuff, mm -hmm. he always comes to us and asks us if we need anything. Yeah. If you're being fed or not, mm -hmm. you know he he takes care of young artists, spe yeah. especially foreign ones and, and, he's, and, he knows and he's had like, like long-standing friendships as with well regardless of yeah. like whatever's happened in terms of scandals with yeah. his friends mm -hmm. he's stuck by them so yeah. like you know that's a really good sign of a human being but we're see. happy we're happy yay go homo Let's yes <laughs> oh my god do you know what they, <laughs> their ship name is the most funny <laughs> ship name homo because <laughs> i was thinking about it because I was thinking their ship name would be Micho because that that's cute, Micho. I, I was, I but then people on Twitter were like, oh my god, their ship name is exactly. Homo. <laughs> <laughs> the best ship yeah. name ever. Honestly, one of the best ship names ever, Homo. Oh, How are you doing, Homo? I'm living for it. I'm living for it. Yeah. Living for it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so happy for them. Yeah. Yay. Um, we're going to be turning this episode into a podcast. So if you don't want to watch this video, then make sure you click on the links below and be, the links to the podcast will be attached below. You can listen and to my soothing voices. You will love our soothing voices. Next time we might try to do ASMR and be like, hi guys. 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 Hi guys.
Oh my days. Oh. <laughs> we might have the guest Ria again on that episode. Um, if you don't want her, let us know and we can always discuss. <laughs> She's gonna be here whether you like it or not. Um, so, yeah, we, K pop Corner is gonna be an amazing series. We're very excited about it. Please join us on this journey. And if you love, please show us the support. Subscribe! Subscribe, yeah. like, comment down below. And please do comment down below because we're gonna yeah. be reading and uh, hearing your thoughts. We want yeah, to interact with the community. I read every single comment. Whether you hate us or love us. I, will find I don't love. I'm, I don't. I'm still sending positivity. I I don't read like, the hate comments as much. <laughs> I do. I but, um, like... We the reason we wanted to create the K we, the reason we wanted to create K-pop Corner was because we want to have conversations yeah. around yeah. and about K-pop with like-minded people. Yeah. So we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear your mm -hmm. theories and predictions, and we will be replying to them and listening to them and reading them out in the podcast series yes. as well. So make sure you comment down below. Thank you so much. Bye.